Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a very windy Classics World HQ with my lovely warm new fleece on. Now, it's a new year and that means new cars. In fact, Phil hasn't wasted any time in buying a new vehicle for the fleet. He's asked me to meet him here at the office to see what he's got. We know how this normally goes when Phil's left alone with the internet and the company credit cards. So, um, let's wait and see what he's driving. Oh yeah. And there we have it. Our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. Well, hello sir. Hello, dear boy. From uh, one Rover fan to another, welcome to our Rover 75 Tourer. I must congratulate you on your fantastic fleece, by the way. Yep, absolutely, yep. Very, other, very stylish. And other, speaking other of stylish, speaking of stylish, yep. the Rover 75, what a great choice, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you. Rover's last hurrah, really, wasn't it? And the first car developed under BMW ownership. Uh, it's rather nice, I have to say. I'm, I'm liking the colour. There's copper leaf red, this is called a belief? Uh, yeah, copper leaf. It's looking a little bit uh, faded, but uh, a bit of detailing will bring that back up to scratch, That's no doubt. That's all right, not to worry. So tell me about it. What spec have we got here? I mean, it, it didn't sound particularly V6-ish when you arrived. Uh, no, it's very much the diesel-powered model and none of the fuel economy because it's an auto, but never mind. Okay, Let's good. The connoisseur spec. Well, you are a connoisseur. Uh, I'd like to think so. It's running the later model alloys. The original ones are in the boot, actually. Oh, good, lovely. But we've had some new tyres put on this because, frankly, the other ones were terrible and there was a blowout on the way down when it was delivered. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. That's all right. We've got they're, they're good. They're nice wheels. It must be. Hang on a minute. Got, what's what's going yeah, on? Yeah, we we wanted to trim some weight out of it. So is this the Super Legera yeah. 75? That's not very solid. There. It's got uh, an official Rover MG tow bar oh. on the back. That puts pounds on it. That does. It I mean, really does. You can yeah, look at that. That's that's quality. I mean, can this can this tow a lot? Uh, yes. I love the split tailgate. Yeah. It's I basically love, a Range Rover. Uh, yeah, exactly. So there's all the original. Uh, wheels and tyres in the back. So this just needs a really good tidy up. You little, uh, little marks here. Yeah, but I mean, we, we've not bought a concourse example, I think is is safe to say. Well, why should today be any different? The previous owner was uh, Keith Adams from AR Online fame. The previous owner to him was actually a former BL and Rover PR guy. Ah. So a real sort of affiliation with the brand. The diesel engines had a super chips upgrade. Apparently it's no slouch but the average fuel consumption, according to the trip meter, is 33 to the gallon. And this being a 2002 car, it's before the Phoenix Group started ripping out all the That's good, it's a pre-project drive car. Yes, exactly. So, of course, the, the Tourer came out after BMW sold Rover. The estate was developed alongside the saloon, but BMW didn't want to put it on sale. I think they were got cold feet about it, but the Phoenix Group did put it on sale, and I think they were right to. It's such a fantastic... It's a very good-looking car, and obviously you can carry your wheels, got loads of, uh, loads of space in the... Um, it, it appears to be full of parts, Phil. This doesn't, this never bodes well. Well, I think it does bode well, because it means if it, something does go wrong with it, we've got the bits all ready to go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in. Oh, it's, it's nice in here, I'll tell you what. There probably should be a uh, door handles around there. Yeah, it just, again, just project lightweight. What, what's that on the floor there? Uh, Is that a bit of trim? Another bit of trim here. Are you it's, sure that shouldn't yeah. be attached? It, it should be attached, Joe, I'm not gonna lie. This has got the full, screen with the sat nav and not only that look it's actually got tv look at that phil there's more parts coming off yeah this is this is a self-lightening car here i just kicked that off it's got the electric sunroof oh good that'll leak that's well attached there isn't it i'd be, I'd barely breathed on that and that's just the the headlining has done what most headlinings do and that's head south which is regrettable no, that's but okay. the leather looks in all pretty good yeah nick, the, actually the leather's nice actually i'll give you I that like, i like the piped leather i love the retro dials but look at the gauges the I know. gauges are glorious the gauges are the best bit about 75 no i'll agree with you there yeah and, and how's your steering wheel because i mean that actually looks in pretty good nick these normally go it's all... it's, it's grubby needs a clean yeah but I mean, that's, that's hygienic yeah why don't we get out on the road and we can uh, we can assess it a bit more then excellent let's go so on the road in your impulse rover sorry your second impulse rover second or maybe third if you include the r8 Oh, the R8, missed that car. But to be back in another red Rover, and it must be said, 
This one has its flaws. Uh, yeah, it, it makes it more charming though, right? I don't know. Well, it's it's imperfect, but that's how we like them. We like an underdog. Um, and this one, the previous owner obviously got a little bit tired, as you might be able to see in the back. I always liked the Rover 75. I liked the Rover 75 story, how it all came about. Therefore, I always thought we've got our own Rover 75 at some stage. Agreed. When uh, Keith Adams of AR Online fame said that he was looking to sell this, I just sort of leapt on. Well, you were up selling the fact that it's been tuned a little bit. So go on, put your foot down. Go on, let's, let's see what she'll do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure the chips are that super. It's not a tidal wave, is it? No. On the plus side, it did take half an hour to kick down. There's no chance of unintended acceleration. Good for safety. Well, you have got, got lots of buttons. I've got a heated seat. Let's try that. Yeah, I should just clarify. This is the Connoisseur SE. Oh. Which is really top spec. It's I got look. electric seats, electric sunroof. It's got climate control, heated seats, the screen with the sat nav and the TV. I'm not, not sure any of it works, but it all appears to be working mate, vaguely. But listen, the, the, the Rover 75 is a fantastic car. Like a lot of my favourite British chod mobiles, they all represent a really interesting time in the history of the British car industry. That's undeniable. Because the Rover 75 was BMW's sort of first clean slate Rover design. They obviously acquired Rover in 1994. And as we previously covered the Rover 600, that had only been on sale for about a year at that point. But already BMW thought, right, we've got to get out of this Honda licensing arrangement. And the 75 was that project. There was no expense spared. In fact, from my understanding, the Rover engines were quite sort of gobsmacked at how BMW had this complete no compromise approach. But it was everything, it was quality and the rigidity of the chassis and the, all the benefits that that would bring in terms of crash safety, ride and handling. And you've got to say that the car that came out the other end of it was phenomenal. And we've got a CD changer in here. Have we got anything in there? Come on, this is, have we got any Cheryl Cole or anything? No, no Bee Gees in there. Cheryl Cole? Like Do you like a bit of Cheryl Cole? This is someone's done a printout of a workshop manual with engine compartment fuse replacement. It's good, it just shows a conscientious owner. When Keith acquired it uh, in 2021, he listed a, a whole raft of faults. Not all of them have been rectified in the one year that he had it. There's lots of bits of trim hanging off. The thing is, I am slightly pulling your leg, to be fair. It's very easy to beat up on this and say, look, it's got 100,000 miles on it and it looks it and it feels it and there's lots of threadbare edges. It actually wears those miles quite well. You know, this is all smooth, it's not all cracked. Everything electrical seems to work. My heated seat is fantastic, actually. That I love a heated seat. Oh, I thought I'd wet myself, it's on, is it? There's something about Rovers that you can see past the flaws. You know, you can see past the imperfections. There's a charm there and there's a character there. And I'm sure you're all thinking it. What actually is the plan for this? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. I genuinely bought it on you know, impulse. Like I say, I like, I like the Rover 75. Do you know what it is though? All joking aside, it is comfortable. Yeah, it's the ride lovely is lovely and comfortable. The ride is lovely. It's not even riding on the original wheels. It's no, got it's the 17 the big inch. Big wheels. There's some easy wins. Bits like that door handle. I mean, all joking aside, yeah, these are hanging off, but it just needs new clips. Like, there's actually nothing wrong with that. And I think we need to clear out all the clutter. Let's give it a really good clean and polish. Let's smarten her up, get her looking good and then we need to do something with it. Yep, yeah, let, us, let us know in the comments, that would be great. If you can let us know whether we should go on a banger rally with it, should we... Road trip. Road trip of some description. So track day. A track day in a Rover 75 diesel auto, that's bold, isn't it? It's got yeah. a sport mode. Yeah, it's slow, snow and E for eventually. <laughs> that's, that's what that means. Apparently when Keith bought it, the sat-nav uh, thought it was in Prague. And I can only assume that's because he paid by check. Happy New Year, everyone. Anyway, moving on. It's driving fine. It's, it's smooth. You've got lots of space in the back. Estate, comfortable and practical. I really, I, I like it. All right, the, there you go. Uh, I'll go on record. I like it. And well, those dials, if nothing else, I love those dials. It sounds like you volunteered to take take the project on, Joe. I mean, that's, that's very kind of you. I think. Well, you know. there has there has been a rover shaped hole in the driveway since the 600 went. And that's... you struggled to track down our former Rover R8. Yes, that's project, still on, so. still ongoing. I do miss that car dearly. So I'll take this on for a bit. The yellow Audi TT over oh, there. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Can I have a go? You, you absolutely can. Yes, uh, we'll get back to the office and you can have the keys gladly. So, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Watch this space to see what we do with it. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.